next guest has a new album out with his band, the Goo Goo Dolls, called Something for the Rest of Us. Please welcome Johnny Resnick! <laughs> Nice to be here. How are oh, it's so nice to see you. How's your weenus doing? How's my what? How's your weenus? <laughs> my weenus? <laughs> your elbow. Oh. Apparently, Snooky says this is a weenus. It's Weenus Wednesday. Okay, I, I wouldn't know. <laughs> there I you wouldn't go. know. I, my elbows are fine. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Thank okay, you so asking. you and I are uh, from the same hometown we of are. Buffalo. We are. And there are things that we know about mm -hmm. Buffalo that no one else could possibly know. Right. So I was going to do a little quiz with you to okay. see how much, because you live in LA now. I do. And yes. so do I. And yes. so I'm wondering how much you remember. Member okay. about our hometown. So are you ready? I am ready. Okay. See if you can pronounce this word. Look at over there. Look over there. Look can over we where? put up can we put up the our word here? Oh, Skajakwada. No one. No one can no pronounce one can that pronounce word. That. And I put it up for everyone here at the yes. studio, and not one person could figure out yeah. that word. Yes. And it's just a throughway that goes through yeah, through little, Buffalo. Yes. Love that. Yeah. Okay. Question two. Question you ready? two. I'm ready. What I do? I like the bell. <laughs> <laughs> Is that an accident? Or that? <laughs> that was actually the elevator. The, the elevator. Hi, okay. All right. Uh, what do local Buffalonians call buffalo wings? Wings. There you ding, go. ding, 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 <laughs> That one is a trick question. Not a lot of people know okay. that. They get confused by that. Yeah. Uh, there is another very famous food that is served only in Buffalo. It is called a beef on weck. Yes, it's a weck. Can you tell me what is weck? Weck is short for Kimmel weck roll, which was actually, uh, it was like a crusty roll that actually, I, the story is that a bartender came up with rubbing, putting uh, coarse salt on the roll so that people got thirsty and drank more beer in his bar. Nice! So there you go. Okay, and here's the follow-up to that. When you get thirsty after you eat your weck, what do you drink that is fully, fully, locally buffalo? It's pink? It's pink? Or red? Loganberry. There you go! You are good at this. I was gonna... So, so I passed the test. Wait, we're not even no, done I'm yet. I'm official. I, I, you I are doing very buffalo. well. I'm proud of okay. you right now. Um, can you name three famous people besides me and you okay. from yeah. Buffalo or that are very associated with the Buffalo area? Oh, gosh. Would be, it would be probably, well, Ani DeFranco. Yes. Um, Rick James. Hell um, yeah! <laughs> Billy Sheehan, the bass oh, player. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, you are good. Guy. Um... Who else? <laughs> yes. Am I getting a dig on that you one? Are, you did good. Um, <laughs> That's good. That's all you needed was who else three. Who's famous from Buffalo? Well, we we did have O.J. Simpson on our well, Buffalo he wasn't Bills. From Buffalo, though. Well, we had him there for a yeah, while. We yeah, had yeah. Uh, well, Jim Kelly is a very famous well, quarterback. He's not from Buffalo either. But he lives there now. He lives in Buffalo. Yes, wow. he lived there for a long, long time. Married a local that. girl, had a baby, the whole See, thing. That's the thing, you know. See, you Buffalo is one of those places, you know, where you go there and you just nobody leaves. It's true. It's true. They don't. They don't. Okay, here is uh, the final question, I believe. Um, when you are going to the Canadian Ballet, where are you going? <laughs> oh, the Canadian Ballet. <clears throat> <laughs> it doesn't have to be a specific uh, okay, place. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. If you've ever been to a strip joint in Buffalo, you pay the girls to put their money, you pay the girls to put their clothes back on. <laughs> Okay, and just like put it on, put it on, Grandma. <laughs> so you go, so you, but you go to Canada. It's it's uh, when you're going to see strippers. Yes, the there Canadian ballet. Yes. Okay, and then we also I have to we, we actually have a clip of this. I don't know if you have seen this. Okay. A very famous celebrity did a commercial for a local supermarket. You have to take a look at this. Okay. Bakery fresh cakes and pies. Enjoy homemade taste with a variety for all your family gatherings. Well, I don't want to bother my mother with choosing, so let's just have one of each. What? How great is that? He, he must be getting killed in his divorce. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently he was on Letterman and he was talking about how his mother will not move to Los Angeles because she won't leave her local Wegmans. Wow, no Wegmans. And so he did a commercial fantastic. for Wegmans. That's so, that's so cute. <laughs> Isn't that that's, amazing? That's very, that's very nice. Okay, Where's so his... Johnny, well, he, I think he passed the test, right, you guys? Thank you very much. <laughs> Good job. Well done. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Okay, now we need to talk about your album. Yeah. Tell me all about it. What's going on? You got something um, for the rest of us. Something for the rest of us. <laughs> yeah. Um, you it's know. a little darker than the, the other stuff. So it's a little darker. It's a little more, um, you know, I, it's not so much me writing songs about my life and what's going on with me or, or you know, my friends or things like that. But it, it's more, I wanted to sort of take a look at uh, what was going on in America right now, you know, more, and, and around the world. As far as, like, you know, we live in a time where we're, we're uh, 
in two wars, mm -hmm. and um, the economy is really bad. And and just sort of, I, I've been watching a lot of my friends go through a lot of really difficult times because of it. And uh, we all know somebody who's been in Iraq or, or Afghanistan, right. somebody who's having a hard time financially. And uh, I just wanted to kind of comment about the emotional kind of underpinnings of that whole thing. So I love it. Well, thank you very much. And I think we actually, we've been playing the video as well, which know, is very exciting. I know, Thank you guys very much. <laughs> You're very welcome. It's great. Thank you so much for coming thank on. Thank you for having and me. And uh, um, I think we, uh, we are very happy to have you, and we need to know what your OMFG moment is from this past year. Have you had that moment? OMM? Your OMFG. Oh, my freaking God. Oh, OK, all right. <laughs> I'm having it. Not right, right now. now. No, I'm having it. <laughs> yes. I'm having it right now. No, because I, I, I just bought a house. And I, actually, I, I have the keys to my new house. Right you do right now? Closet, so. That's so cool. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's amazing how uh, how uh, it once you have the keys, it sinks in. Oh my God, I have all this responsibility, and so I'm freaking out a little bit. You're but an adult now. I'm a grown up. Yeah. <laughs> um, Congratulations, thank that's you so very cool. Much. Thank Maybe you. you'll invite me over one day. Absolutely. We made copies of the keys. <laughs> thank you so much for coming in. <laughs> hey, thank you very much. Single ladies, stay tuned because Steve Ward from Tough Love will show you how to get a ring on it next. Right now, here's the Goo Goo Dolls, not broken. <laughs> Hi, Steve. What happened there? <laughs>